Hey, what's up YouTube? Casper here. So I've been playing a lot of Diablo 4. I have a Necromancer right now. I'm going to be showing off my uh, build and everything and some gear. So I'm going through that here. And let's see. I am using Bone Spear as my current setup. And show off the gear here for us. And going to go through some stats. So I'm level 78 right now. Definitely been focusing on intellect and like crit damage here. So I'm at 369 total crit strike damage. Got some extra 79% with bone skills. 112% uh, vulnerability. 95% overall damage altogether. And just little defensive stats there. Nothing too crazy. But today I'm going to be showing off... Um, well, here's the Paragon, Paragon board as well. I didn't quite optimize this perfectly, but I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit about the boards. Board 1, board 2. I'm using extra uh, damage to crowd control enemies, which synergizes with my boots and my tendrils. Uh, legendary node, bone Griff, graft. Another legendary node here, ruin extra damage and then I am still working on unlocking this last glyph that I'm working on for vulnerability so once I get some more decks that'll activate all right but yeah today I just kind of want to show off um, oh this is also skill tree my fault so I'm not using a skill um, generator I'm using bone spear nine out of five at the moment Enhanced, Bone Spear, Paranormal, Hued Flesh, Blood Mist for survivability, Corpse Explosion with Blight on it, and then Bone Prison. Pretty much all these other moves I'm just working on getting my essence back up. Corpse Tendrils, trigger some vulnerability. I get mana back when CC comes through. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, today I'm just going to be showing off me soloing like a level 30 something. I forget what it was. It might have been like a 30 or 31 Nightmare Dungeon. So, here we are and I'm just, just going to put on some music for us and let you check it out. Your bones betray you. Thanks they everybody. Shall soon serve me. Alright, so we got into the Nightmare Dungeon. It is a level four, uh, 31. So the enemies should be a little bit higher than my level, but basically about my level. Looks like, what are they here? I think they're... Like 79 or so? Looks like they're in the 80s. Alright, but I uh, just wanted to kind of let you know about the gameplay here. So since I'm not using an Essence Generator uh, basic skill, I'm going to be spamming Bone Spear as my main damage ability, and then anytime I pop a corpse, I'm going to be getting Essence back. And the build is made around these big crits, as you can see, which are nice. The Bone Spear will break off uh, once it hits a wall, come back, and make either three or five extra little bone shards, I believe they're called. And let's see... Also, I have the ability to put down a bone prison, which what I, you'll be seeing me do later, and that's good for survivability. And also, depending on how many enemies are trapped in there, I'll get essence back as well. So, with those few things, and also with um, the tendrils that I'll put down, I don't do it too often in this clip, but um, you can definitely do it with this build. It's one of the main parts, so I do do it right here. So it pulls everybody in, and depending on how many people it grabs, you'll get more essence. So definitely recommend this build. It's an S tier. If you're running Necromancer, I would say give it a shot. I'm sure many of you have already tried it, but 
That's about all I'm going to say about how it works, and I'm just going to let you check out me finishing the rest of the Nightmare Dungeon. And I'm definitely playing pretty scary here since it's just me. I'm just staying in the back and using my range, not letting things get to me. So yeah, just let me know. This, I'm kind of trying to s decide, honestly, if I'm going to be making any Diablo 4 videos, but I think I probably should for my own benefit. You never know. It'd be nice to blow up the channel. So I'd love if anyone could like and subscribe. And... Let me know if you like this video and if there's anything else you'd like to see with this character. If you'd like an update later on when I get better gear or anything like that. So thanks again for just tuning in and uh, Casper out. I'm just going to let the gameplay talk for itself and hope you enjoy. Thank you.
All right, thanks everybody on YouTube. If you made it this far, please subscribe and like. It'd be awesome to grow this channel and then that would really just encourage me to probably make some more content on this video game, which I really enjoy. So, you know, we'll see how this goes and go from there. All right, Casper out, peace out.